All right, Warren, earlier you, you talked about selling some of the Apple uh, shares in order to build up your cash supply, and I think it's had a lot of people wondering what, where you see opportunities or what might be coming or market valuation. So I'll ask this question from Foster Taylor. At the 1999 annual meeting, you mentioned that if you owned all of America's 500 businesses, you would be making $334 billion while paying $10.5 trillion. You emphasized that this was not a good return on investment. Today, by my math, the S&P 500 has a market capitalization of around $44 trillion with profits of around $1.45 trillion. This is a very similar return on investment to the 1999 levels. Do you see similarities in the market today and the 1999 levels. Well, one thing has changed dramatically from, uh, uh, well, from 1990. I'm, uh, uh, I'm misunderstood on the 1999, but uh, there have been times in my life that I've been awash in so many opportunities that I could have invested everything by nightfall. And then there's other times when the year goes, well, not in the early days, but now. Uh, um, we we just um, we haven't seen anything that makes sense that uh, moves the needle. Now we've made small acquisitions during the year. Our companies have made acquisitions, and and we, you know, Greg and I may talk about something that involves a three hundred million dollar purchase or something like that. And you know, it, if if it fits well enough, we do it. But. Uh, and if our managers see things that fit them, we want to look at them because our managers do not have necessarily the same equations in mind that we do. But there's some managers which we would end up uh, give, just say, you know, whatever you decide to do. And then there's other managers that wouldn't, that would not know how to allocate capital particularly, and that they don't have to be able to be great capital allocators if they happen to be great at serving customers and understand their own industry and all of that. You know, they can be great managers. And a good many of them are capital allocators and others are. But the, uh, this, is not, this is not a time when, when uh, the phone is going to be ringing often, but there are times from that. And, Greg will know how to handle them and as well or better than, than uh, I have over time. And Charlie and I, would, you know, we, we missed a lot of things. And uh, what we really regretted was missing something that turned out to be very big. We never, we never worried about missing something that we didn't understand. I mean, <laughs> you know, why, why should we be, be able to, you know, predict the future of every business any more than we can predict, you know, what, what wheat yields are likely to be in Illinois next year. <laughs> well, not wheat in Illinois, wheat in Kansas, but corn in Illinois. Uh, so uh, it, I, I wouldn't, I don't really think of whether it's similar to 1999, because I'm not that good on chronology anyway, unless something really dramatic happened at the time. I mean, I remember things from 2008 and 9 better, much better than I remember whether something happened in 2015 or, or 1987 or, well, 1987 I remember because of October 19th, but, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I just don't think, I don't think that way. I just look at what I can do every day. So, Greg? Mm -hmm. um. I'm going to have to use it. Nothing, sorry, nothing to add. Okay, well, we'll go to <laughs> station two. Uh, that, uh, I mean.